a single factor dahil that is one way. Treatment lang ang meron tayo. Ngayon, we have treatment and we have the block. So, meaning that will be a two factor. Now, the question is, is it with the replication or without replication? When we say with the replication, guys, ito kasi, kada isang, kada isang treatment at isang block, yung intersection nila isa lang. Meaning, hindi siya na ulit. No, that is the two-way ANOVA. That will be our next topic. So, meaning to say, for the randomized block design, what we will going to do is we will going to choose the ANOVA two-factor without replication. everyone so welcome to our next topic regarding analysis of variance and this time we will going to talk about the second type of the ANOVA which is the randomized block design or this is simply called as RBD okay so without further ado let's start our discussion regarding randomized block design analysis of variance so when we say RBD or randomized block design, this is used to compare treatment means but this arises from a random block design where the experiment has been split up into a number of mini experiment. This is the one na wala tayo before sa analysis of variance na one way. Na wala tayong mini experiment doon, ang meron lang tayo is the treatment per column lang siya. Ngayon, uh, those treatments are assigned with the random blocks na meron nga tayo, sabi nga dito, di ba? Split na siya into number of mini experiment. So, the purpose of designing RBD is to, for us to lessen the within treatments variation because actually, with one-way ANOVA, there is a high chance of having a large variation on our treatments. So, to easily detect differences between treatment means, in randomized block design of the analysis of variance, we partition the total variation or the total sum of squares into three sources of variations. And those three sources of variations are the SSTR, SSBL, SSE, or simply SST, SSB, and SSE. So, SST or SSTR is the sum of squares for treatment. SSBL is the sum of squares due to blocks. And SSE is the sum of squares due to random error. So, SST, of course, stands for the total sum of squares. This is just like the one-way ANOVA, guys. Ang wala lang dito sa one-way ANOVA is yung blocks. No, wala tayong blocks doon. Kaya, is, as you can see, I have here the sample no I, I skip to motong slide na to i have here a sample of how the randomized block design anova table is looking this is actually looks like no ito tingnan niyo no we have there sum of squares degrees of freedom mean square and the value of f same na same sa one way anova pero as you can see before meron lang tayong dalawang row so 1 2 3 ngayon tatlo na dati dalawa lang no, may nadagdag po kasi tayo na blocks and that is the roast here. So, let's, ano, let's write here. Yung columns, ito yung treatment natin before. So, one way, ano ba? No, so, treatment. Ayan. Okay, so this is our treatment before. And yung nadagdag po is itong rows, which is this are the blocks. Okay, ayan yung wala tayo. Error, we have error before and of course the total. So, may nadagdag na isa. That's why randomized block design. With regards to how the given is look, uh, is actually looks like pagdating sa table form, mamaya magbibigyan ko ng sample. Okay, for now, let's have this as an ano, as a topic. No? Partitioning, SST, one-way ANOVA, and randomized block design. Anong pinagkaiba nila? When it comes to SST, again, SST stands for sum of squares total. That is degrees of freedom. Uh, the degrees of freedom for that is N-1. For the ANOVA, for sum of squares between groups and sum of squares within groups. Between groups is C minus 1. Within groups is N minus C. I hope you still remember. Pagdating naman sa randomized block design, the sum of squares between groups are divided into two, which are the sum of squares for treatment and the sum of squares for block. That's why it is called BL here and TR dito. No? 
Kaya siya, may nadagdag na isa. No? Yung, da- yung isa before dito sa one way, naging dalawa sa randomize. Kaya yung total neto, which is 3 rows na, sa one way, ano ba, 2 rows. Sa dagdagan nga po kasi dito sa randomized block design. So, yung SSW or the sum of squares within group sa one way, ano ba natin before, that is now the SSE for the randomized block design or the sum of squares error. And these are the formula. So, for the degrees of freedom, SSTR, C-1. For SS block, R-1. C-1 multiplied to R-1 or simply the value for the degrees of freedom for SSE is the degrees of freedom for SS treatment multiplied to, degree, to the degrees of freedom for SS block. And yung total nyan is of course the SST. Okay? I hope you get it. That is the comparison of one-way ANOVA and the randomized block design ANOVA. Okay, so I have here the assumptions of randomized block design. So for our first assumptions, the samples are randomly selected. Second, population should have approximately equal standard deviation. I have explained this homogeneous you know, last time. Uh, kung di I have explained this on the simple linear regression analysis. So go back to our presentation regarding that topic na explain ko anong, anong difference ng homogeneous sa heterogeneous data or homogeneous or heterogeneous standard deviation or yung mga variations natin. Now, for the third assumptions, the third assumption should be the population distribution should be normal or if not normal, since there's no such thing as perfectly normal distribution curve, as much as possible, no approximately normal yung distribution natin. For the fourth assumption, population covariances are equal. Okay? So, again, here's the randomized block design ANOVA table as our example. So, I have here example number one for the problem. So, randomized block design. So, sorry for the typographical error. I forgot the letter L. <laughs> Ayan, randomized block design. A plant manager was interested in the effect of time of day on the productivity of workers in garment factory. I hope you are familiar with the term productivity. Again, productivity is the unit of output over input. No, wag kakalimutan yan. That is discussed sa PIE subject before. So, a sample of five workers is randomly selected and the number of garments produced in a given hour is recorded on the table on next slide. Now, Using 0.05 alpha level or the level of significance, is there evidence of a difference in the average output between the time periods? Or is there also a evidence of differences among groups of workers? So here's the data, here's the table. Ano yung gusto niyang malaman? Ulitin ko, no? Sa mga hindi nakaitindi. We have here different time periods. So record nila 9 to 10. 11 to 12, 2 to 3 ng hapon, and 4 to 5 p.m. Na-record nila, in every time, no, per, per time period na yan, gaano karami yung nagagawa ng worker na garments. Hindi na nanabanggit ko anong garments yun, basta yung product nila is garments. So, per worker, for example, itong worker 1, 9 to 10 a.m. naka-25 na garments siya. 25 yung output niya. 11 to 12, naka-22 siya. Pagating ng 2 to 3 p.m., naging 20. Pagating ng 4 to 5, naging 25. That is for only the first worker. Now, for the second worker, ganun din. No? As you can see, guys, if ang given lang po is time period and wala tayong worker, that is considered as one-way ANOVA. Dahil ang perspective natin is to look only on the columns. Now, since hindi naman ganun ang nangyayari, ang given natin, bukod sa time period, meron pa tayong workers, that's why it is now under the randomized block design. Dahil bukod sa perspective natin na per column, titignan din natin siya ano yung pinagkaiba per worker. Kaya nga dito, no, kung titignan ninyo, at 0.05 level of significance daw, may pagkakaiba ba yung output nila? Depende sa oras, kasi baka sabihin nila, no, pag, pag itinan itong hali, ah, na, ito yung mga oras na nakakaantok na, no, something like that, naantok na, hindi na productive, kasi tanghali, sa matulog, di ba, siesta time. Baka kasi ganun, yun yung gustong makita ng owner ba or ng manager, ayun, ng plant manager ng company na to. No, ayun yung gusto nyo malaman. May difference ba yung output per time period? 
or yung pangalawang tanong niya, meron din bang difference sa bawat worker? No, baka yung isa talaga dyan, tamad talaga, no, bagal niya talaga, something like that. No, hindi naman sa ginajudge mo si worker, pero we're just uh, talking here statistically if there's some difference sa output ng worker and sa output based naman on time period. I hope you get it guys, that is our case regarding the randomized block design. Okay, so let's start our solution. Of course, for the first part of our solution, kaya ng dati, no, we always have this hypothesis. So since we are looking here on the treatment and the blocks, by the way, when we say treatment, this is our time period. Yung column, nabanggit ko nga kanina, ito, naalala nyo pa. Ito, oh, treatment and the blocks. Yung column yung treatment, blocks yung rows. Nasaan po yun? Here's the treatment. Treatments. And here's the blocks. Okay, ayan. Yung workers. So that is the blocks. Now, since we have two perspectives here, we will also have two uh, hypotheses, two sets of hypotheses. For the first one is the hypothesis regarding the treatment, guys. So, for first one, we have null hypothesis. So, our null hypothesis, let's label ito. Since wala itong label, no, ang, ang hirap naman, ilagay natin mu sub 9 to 10 a.m. Mu sub 11 to 12 noon. Medyo mahirap. Lagyan natin ng label, letter A na lang. A, B, C, D na lang. No? A, B, C, and D. So, here, okay na yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what we're going to do is to have the hypothesis muna for the treatment. Sinasabi natin, for null hypothesis, ulitin ko, all population must be equal. Therefore, our, our hypothesis, there will be population sub mu, or mu sub A rather, equals mu sub b, equals mu sub c, equals mu sub d. So, that will be our null hypothesis. No? Oh, so, mu sub a equals mu sub b, equals mu sub c, equals mu sub d. So, we are saying here that there is no evidence of a difference in the average output between time periods. Itong null hypothesis, ayun yung binabangkit niya. Sinasabi natin na kahit anumang oras yan, pare-pareho lang yung output. Walang difference. Okay? For treatment. Dahil again, our treatment is the time periods. Now, let's move on to the alternative hypothesis. Since that is our, uh, that is our null hypothesis, our alternative hypothesis now will be mu sub a is not equal to mu sub b which is also not equals to mu sub c and also not equals to mu sub d. We are saying here on our alternative hypothesis under treatment that is, there is an evidence. No, there is. Hindi siya there is no. There is an evidence of a difference in the average output between time periods. May pagkakaiba kada oras. Ano yung pagkakaiba? Ano yung naiba? We never know. Basta ang alam natin, magkakaiba yung output. Kasi meron pa yung mga post hoc test na ginagawa after ng ANOVA. And sooner or later, we will discuss all about that, okay? So, that is for the treatment hypothesis. Now, for the second is, we should have an hypothesis based naman sa blocks. No, on the blocks perspective. Let's have it here. Ito yung block natin. We have block 1, block 2, block 3, block 4, block 5, or the worker number 1, worker number 2, worker number 3, and worker number 4. And of course, the last worker, worker number 5. So let's have here the null hypothesis. We will going to say here that our first worker, or the mu sub 1, doesn't have any difference sa output niya pagdating sa ating worker 2, or the mu sub 2. Ganun din pagdating sa mu sub 3, equal din sila, and that is also equals to the mu sub 4. Again, we are saying here that there is no evidence of a difference among groups of workers. Okay? And we also have mu sub 5. Ayan, wag madi dito dyan, ha? For the treatment, apat lang po tayo, dahil apat lang naman yung time period. For the blocks, dahil po lima yung workers, so hanggang lima yung mu natin. Gagawin mali dito dyan. Okay, so next, we have here the alternative hypothesis. So simply, alternative hypothesis is mu sub 1 
not equals to mu sub 2 which is also not equals to mu sub 3 that is not equals to mu sub 4 and of course not equals also to mu sub 5. We are saying here that there is an evidence of a difference among groups of workers. May pagkakaiba, hindi sila pare-pareho ng output itong limang workers na to. Okay, I hope you get it. Next, let's have our level of significance based on our problem. The level of significance that we should use is 0 0.05. So, let's write it here. 0 0.05 level of significance. Okay, so next thing na dapat natin gawin is to determine the degrees of freedom and the critical values of F. Now, uh, let's go back to our ANOVA table. As you can see guys, Nabanggit ko kanina, since may nadagdag tayong row, nagiging tatlo na rin ngayon yung degrees of freedom natin. We have degrees of freedom for block, degrees of freedom for treatment, degrees for of freedom for error, and lastly, the degrees of freedom for the total. So, what we should do now is to have first the degrees of freedom for treatment and the blocks, okay? Now, for the degrees of freedom for treatment and blocks, magiging magkaiba po yung formula nila. Dahil as you can see, we have here uh, four treatments, 9 to 10, 11 to 12, 2 to 3, and 4 to 5. And that is column, no? so that is letter C na sa ating, tawag dito, sa ating variable. So, C minus 1. Okay, so that will be our degrees of freedom for treatment na formula. And since we have 4 na C, Tapos, we have 1 sa formula. Our degrees of freedom for treatment will be 3. Okay? I hope you get it. So, I have here a prepared ANOVA table. Ayan, no, prepared ANOVA table na lagay na natin. That is the degrees of freedom for treatments. Number 3. Okay? So, the next is now the degrees of freedom for Blocks. And as you can still remember, guys, ang blocks natin is yung mga rows. No, so, we have 5 rows here. And of course, since we have 5 rows, the formula for blocks will be, nasaan ang aking ito? Uh, row minus 1. Since we have 5 rows, so minus 1, this will be 4. So, 4 ang magiging value natin for the degrees of freedom for blocks. Okay? So, next... We have now the degrees of freedom for, uh, this is for error, no? Dahil okay na tayo for treatment, so this is for error, not for treatment, ayan. Okay, so for error, guys, for the error that is degrees of freedom for treatment multiplied to the degrees of freedom for blocks, no? So, meaning that is 3 times 4, and 3 times 4 is basically... 12. So, 12 ang magiging value natin for the error. Okay? And for the degrees of freedom total, so since it is total, basically, that is degrees of freedom for treatment plus degrees of freedom for blocks plus degrees of freedom for the error. And that is 3 plus 4 plus 12. So, 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 12 we have here. 19. Okay? So, lagay natin dito, total is 19. Okay, now, since we are done with the degrees of freedom, kukunin naman natin ngayon is the value for the critical na F. Now, F critical, and since again, we have two point of views here, the treatment and the block, so we have F critical for treatment, and we also have F critical for Block. So, let's start with the F critical for treatment. Since our DF treatment is 3, so that will be 3 and our error, which is 12. So, 3 and 12. For the F block, that will be equals to the F of block and the error. Or 4 and we have here 12. Okay, and tulad nung nakaraan, we will check this on the table. Again, that is 0 0.05. So, tama yung table na gamit natin. For the F treatment critical, 3 and 12. So, where's the 3 here? And where's the 12? So, here we have 
3.49. So, 3.49 ang value ng ating F-critical treatment. And for F-blocks critical, that will be 4 and 12. So, let's write it here. 4 and 12. Okay? So, 3.26. So, 3.26. Okay? So, we have now the F-critical for treatment and the blocks. Next is, we will now compute for the value of F for treatment and blocks. Yung mismong computed value na hindi na yung critical. And for us to be able to solve for that value, guys, ito yung hindi sinasabi, no? Solve natin ito and ito. But, before tayo makapag-come up dyan, just like the one-way ANOVA before, we need to find first the value for the sum of squares treatment and sum of squares blocks, sum of squares error total, and of course, the mean of squares treatment block error. Dahil lahat ng values for F computed is based dito sa mga yan. Okay, so what we will going to do now is to have our value for, aunahin natin, I have a technique dito guys. Actually, if you have see sa so some statistics na books, no, no, sobrang haba ng formula na to, no, sobrang nakaka nakakailita, <laughs> sobrang haba. And ang ibibigay ko sa inyo is the shortcut na, no. Uh, gusto kong ipakita sa inyo yung shortcut na para mas mabilis tayo and gagamit tayo ng Excel ulit. No, pero manual pa rin and later on ipapakita ko naman sa inyo just like on the one way ANOVA how to solve the randomized block design using the data analysis yung mas mabilis naman. So, una tayo sa manual ng Excel and of course, after nun, yung data analysis mas mabilis. Okay, so again, just like what I have said before, start tayo sa SS total or the sum of squares total. Okay, ito yung value niyan. So, SS total, this is the shortcut na formula guys. This is the variance when we say variance, ang kukunin natin is yung population dahil this is population at is sample. So, meaning, yung variance na tinutukoy ko dito is the population variance, not the sample variance. So, this is the variance of treatment means. Treatment means. Times natin sa count kung ilan lahat ng data natin na count of raw data. Okay? So, let's go now to our Excel for you para mas makita ninyo. Variance of treatment means. Ayan, mali pa yung spelling. <laughs> Pakalimut ako pa yung letter A. So, let's write it here. Ayan. So, treatment means. Let's go to our Excel. So, I have here the blank na ANOVA table para ilagay natin yung mga values dyan and of course the given data. Pero for now, since pero na tayong value na ito, ilagay na natin to 3, 4, 12 na solve na natin siya eh, no? And of course yung total which is 19. Okay? And ang susolve natin ngayon is the sum of squares total. Sabi sa PowerPoint, variance of treatment means no times count of raw data. And we don't have yet our treatment means. Therefore, we need to find the means for each treatment. Nakunin muna natin yan. So, how? Simply, get the average of each treatment. Ayan yung mga treatment means eh. Okay? Ayan. We have now the average for all treatments. And for us to be able to find the variance, so just equals, then we have here var, no, var and p. No, that means population variance. And highlight mo ito para makuha natin yung variance ng mga means na yan. Yung mga average per time period. Okay? So, that is 0 0.35. Now, okay na yun. No? Variance of treatment means. Nakasolve na natin. Count of raw data. Gaano karami daw yung raw data? Actually, that is 5 times 4. So, basically, that is 20. And if Guys, sobrang dami niyan. We have meron tayong shortcut sa Excel which is yung count. No, sa count, i-highlight mo lang tapos kusa niyan bibilangin ilan lahat yung naka-highlight. That is the count. So, mean, meaning 20. So, for the SS total, multiply lang daw po natin yan sila. No, we have we have here the variance of treatment means times count of raw data. So, we have here, ito, times this. 
So that is 7. Ah, that is the total pala. Treatment, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That is for some of squares treatment. Okay, so SST. So SS is for treatment. But then po nilagay. Dito tayo. Ayan. So 0.35 times this. Okay. So next, that is for the SS treatment. Next, we have the SSB. So that, since that is for the treatment, ang perspective natin is nasa treatment. Sa SSB, since this is block, ang perspective naman natin is nasa block. No? So, SSB. Ayan. So, for SSB, the formula is somehow the same with SS treatment. No? Ang pinagkaiba lang nila is, of course, yung treatment means gagawin nating block mean. So, meaning, variance of block means times the count of raw data. Na parehong pareho lang po. So let's go back to our PowerPoint uh, to our Excel spreadsheet. So meaning para makuha natin yung variance ng mga block, we need to have first our mean for the blocks. So let's have here uh, mean for the blocks. So average natin lahat ng mga blocks per worker. Ayan. Okay, copy and paste to baba. And of course, kunin na natin yung ano, no? yung variance. So, variance, population variance tayo. So, highlight, ayan. And yung count. No, ang count is just the same with this one, yung kanina, 20. So, that is for the sum of squares block. So, that is the variance multiplied to the count, which is equals to, upon entering, that is equals to 33.5. Five. And that is our sum of squares for block. Okay? So, that's it for the SSB. So, now, let's have the SS uh, total. Okay? So, for SS total, this is just the same formula sa ating one-way ANOVA. That is summation of X squared minus GN, uh, G squared over N. No? Parehong-pareho po sa formula for one-way ANOVA. So, for us... To be able to solve for the value of the SS total, since this is summation of x squared, meaning to say, lahat ng data natin, we should square all those first. Then, let's find for their summation. Okay? So, delete natin. Ah, i-delete. Nakakonect naka pala dyan yung formula. Ito na lang. Gawa tayo dito. Ito. No, i-square natin lahat. Ayan. Copy and paste. And copy and paste again to baba 1 2 1 2 3 4 okay so ito na sila no this group of data set guys is just the same with this one ang pinagkaiba lang ito lahat siya ay naka squared no check natin isa oh ito in square niya lang yung 28 28 squared is equals to 784 same with the other data so let's find for their sum Okay, so summation nila is 13,158. So nakuha na po natin yung value nito. That is 13,158. Minus naman natin ngayon sa value ng grand total square. So ano yung grand total nun? Dito natin lagay. No, ang total nun, isam po natin silang lahat. Let's find the sum. Ayan. Then, square natin. Dito na, diretso na natin square Okay, so that is the G squared and of course yung N. No, ang N natin is 20. So for us to be able to have the SS total, summation of X squared given G squared given na N given na. So idiretso na natin dito. So this will be this one minus parenthesis. Ito yung G squared natin. No need to square dahil naka-square na po ito kanina pa. Divide na po natin agad siya sa n, which is 20. So, this will be our sum of squares total. Okay, so we have sum of squares total. Ang wala tayo ngayon is yung SSE or the sum of squares error. Since we have down the total, ang kailangan natin gawin ngayon is i-minus natin yung summation ng dalawa. Dahil ulitin ko, no? Kung titignan po natin sa ating ANOVA table, pag sinabing total, isa may ng tatlo. Since ang inharap natin itong isa, edi i-minus natin yung summary sama, sama nitong dalawa dito sa 153. 
Okay, I hope nakuha nyo. Meaning, ang formula will be SS total minus SST plus SSB. Okay, so let's get, uh, solve for that ito sa ating Excel. So, equals ito minus the summation itong dalawa. And this one. Okay, so meaning to say our sum of squares for error is 112. Now, ang wala tayo ngayon, ang kailangan natin isolve ngayon is the value for the mean square. Okay, so let's write all the formula for the mean square. And of course, isulat na rin natin formula for the F computed. Okay, so let's have it here for the MST. Basically, that is the sum of squares for treatment divided by the degrees of freedom na kinuha natin for treatment. For the mean square for the blocks, that will be SSB for the blocks, sum of squares ng block, divided by the degrees of freedom for block. For the MSE naman, mean of squares error is of course the SSE divided by the degrees of freedom for the error. O diba? Napakadali lang. And lastly, for the value of The F computed for the treatment, that will be MST. Yung masold natin na value for MST dito, divide natin sa MSE. MSE guys, ito yung magiging denominator nila. No? For the F value naman for the blocks, this is MSB for the blocks, divided by MSE. Okay? So, I hope you get it. Let's now do it on our Excel. Napakadali niya lang naman. So, again, MST. Sabi dito, MST is equals to SST divided by the degrees of freedom ng treatment. Or simply, ito po yun. No? Divided by this one. Okay? Same with MSB. SSB over DFB. Kung nasan yung MSB, ito. Ah, yung SSB, ito. No? Divide DS, DFB. So, divide divide lang, copy paste. For the F value, sabi natin, MST tsaka MSB for treatment and block, divide lang pareho for MSE. So, meaning, ito po magiging formula, MST divided by error. And dito sa pangalawa, MSB divided by error. And there you go. We have our randomized block design ANOVA. Ito po yung... Uh, final na table natin. Ayan, in-highlight ko. No, so, meaning, we have the F computed for treatment na 0.25 and we also have the F computed for our block na 0.89. Now, before we will have our decision rule and of course, our conclusion sa problem, actually, tapos na tayo eh, no? Since ito is just a solution for manual, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo how this is solved sa ating data analysis using the data analysis na function ng Excel. Okay, so make sure your data analysis is already activated. Then go to the data tab, ito po sa task, then data analysis. Before nung ating one-way ANOVA, we have choose the ANOVA single factor dahil that is one-way treatment lang ang meron tayo. Ngayon, we have treatment and we have the block. So, meaning that will be a two-factor. Now, the question is, is it with replication or without replication? When we say with replication, guys, ito kasi, kada isang, kada isang treatment at isang block, yung intersection nila isa lang. Meaning, hindi siya naulit. No, that is the two-way ANOVA. That will be our next topic. So, meaning to say, for the randomized block design, what we will going to do is we will going to choose the ANOVA two-factor without replication. Dahil isa lang yung data sa loob eh, ng intersection, ng treatment, and the blocks. Sooner or later, after this topic, we will going to have the topic one, two-way ANOVA. Yun yung next natin with the replication na po yun. So, again, for randomized block design, we will going to choose two-factor without replication. Okay, so here it is. Now, since we are done choosing the two-factor without replication for now, let's have the input range. So, ito, input natin ito. Ayan. Since we don't choose to have the label, dahil ako kasi kapag hinighlight ko itong label, since nakamerge itong worker, maguguluhan si Excel. Kung hindi ito nakamerge, pwede natin i-kunin yung label. Pero it is just the same lang naman. So, Since hindi natin kinuha yung label, dapat walang check po ito. Alpha is 0.05. 
based on our problem, ayan, 0.05 ang alpha. So, that is, output naman tayo. Again, the difference of these three output range, you will go into choose kung saan siya lalabas. magi start no? In our case, ito na piliin natin for the cell. For new worksheet apply, if ito yung pinili nyo, magkakaroon siyang additional worksheet dito. And for new workbook, if ito yung pinili nyo, yung output ay lalabas sa bagong Excel file. Mag Maggagawa siya ng bagong workbook. No? So, ito tayo, output range para nasa same sheet and same workbook. So, ito ang pinili ko, then click OK. Okay, so walang kahirap-hirap. Here's now our ANOVA table. Okay, so we have here the summary, the count, summation, average, and variance. And here's the final ANOVA table. As you can see, guys, sum of squares for treatment. Treatment are the columns. So, columns, ayan, 7, pareho po. Sum of squares for blocks. Blocks are the rows. So, rows, ayan, 33.5, parehong pareho. Error, we have 112.5. And of course, the total, 153. Same with the TF. We have 3, 4, 12, 19. 4, 3, 12, 19. Same lang. MS, we have 2.33, 8.38, 9.38. Ito po, pare-pareho lang sila. It just so happen na marami siyang decimal places. So, gawin natin 2 decimals lang ito. Para, ayan. So, point, point 0.89 for rows. For the F value, guys. F computed. For rows natin, that is 0 0.89. And that is the blocks. Ito, pareho tayo, oh, 0 0.89. For the columns naman, that is the treatment, 0 0.25. Parehong pareho. May additional pang P value and F critical. So, F critical na na-compute natin kanina, 3.26 and 3.49. Balikan natin, nasaan po yun? F critical, ito, no? 3.26, 3.49. Parehong pareho po dito. So, we can now proceed, guys, with the decision rule and the conclusion of our problem. Since we have, uh, we are done now with the manual computation and, of course, the computation using the data analysis na napakabilis lang gawin. No? So, low back tayo sa ating PowerPoint presentation. For the treatment, no, since we have two perspectives here, ang compare natin kung meron bang difference yung time period, yung output nila sa time period, and if ever na may difference ba for each of the workers, yung output nila. So, for time period, that is the treatment. So, meaning to say, we will going to have the decision for treatment, and of course, the conclusion for treatment, and nakaseparate din yung decision for blocks, and of course, the conclusion for blocks. I hope you get it. Now, for treatment, our decision rule, since the computed F value of 0 0.25, nasaan po yun? Ito. Mas maliit siya sa F critical na 3.49. Ayan, is less than F critical na 3.49. So, kumbaga sa, sa drawing ulit natin dati, this is the 3.49. Tapos, ito, rejection region na, ay eh, yung lumabas, nandito, no? 0 0.25. So, wala sa rejection region. At alpha level 0.05, the statistical decision is to fail to reject the null hypothesis since wala siya sa rejection region. And since we don't reject the null hypothesis this time, uh, the null hypothesis had, had been, uh, have been failed to reject, we can conclude that there is no evidence, take note po sa term, no evidence of a difference in the average output between time periods. Ibig sabihin, Kahit anong oras ka pa magtrabaho dyan, no, magana pa rin sila, hindi nagbago yung productivity nila in the perspective of the time. Okay, that is for the treatment. So, let's go now for the blocks. What will be our decision and our uh, conclusion for the blocks? As you can see on our Excel, for the blocks again, that is the row. So, ito po yung values natin. F value is 0.89, F critical is 3.26. So, same na mas maliit ang computed versus sa critical. Pareho sila, no? So, sabi dito, decision rule. Since the F computed is 0.89, less than F critical value of 3.26, meaning wala na naman sa rejection region, at alpha level 0.05, the statistical decision is to fail to reject the null hypothesis. And since we have failed to reject our second null hypothesis, 
we can conclude that there is no evidence of a difference in the average output between groups of workers. Ibig pong sabihin, kahit sino pa yung worker, walang pinagkaiba. Let's go to our table. Nasaan na ang ating table? Kahit anong worker pa, kahit sinong worker pa ang piliin natin, ito 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, wala pong pinagkaiba when it comes to output. Okay? So, that is how this randomized block design is an being analyzed. No, ayun po yung purpose niya. Ayan yung gamit niya. So, again, ulitin ko, ang pinagkaiba, one way, columns lang, kapag randomized block design, columns and rows. We have blocks and treatment. So, that is how simple the analysis of variance or the ANOVA randomized block design. I hope nagawa kong ma-explain sa inyo na very detailed and step-by-step -step yung mga procedures. No, And I'm looking forward for the mastery of subject. Thank you guys for being with me on this topic. No, And see you again on our next topic all about the analysis of variance two-way or also known as the two-way analysis of variance. So again, thank you. Keep safe always. May you enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the week. Bye-bye!